Happy Friday! Hey, it's Vina V, online entrepreneur, and I love to help you to become more confident and creative with making your very own YouTube videos. Right, let's talk about three ways how you can make YouTube videos when you just don't feel up to it. We've all had those days where we're just like, oh, I just, can you be bothered? Have you, please be honest, comment below if you've ever had one of those days where you're thinking, number one, what is the point? Number two, I can't be bothered. Or number three, you're just not in the mood to record a YouTube video. Or it doesn't just have to be YouTube, just have you ever felt like that in your life <laughs> about anything? Um, the reason how I've come up with this topic today is because I've been ill for the past two weeks. And it's just not fun anymore. But I was thinking, you know, we all know this, okay? If you wanna be building a solid foundation, a really strong, engaged YouTube channel, we need to be consistent. But what do you do when you just don't want to upload a video? How can you still be consistent? Well, here's three ways that we can still do that. Number one is plan. Schedule your videos in advance. And I know I said I was supposed to do this last year and I still haven't done it, but that is the plan. That is one of my goals this year is to finally get ahead of myself. So what I mean by that is always be a few videos ahead of yourselves. So if you're having one of those weeks where you don't want to record, you don't feel like uploading, you've already got videos done that you can upload to YouTube. So always have, and do something called batch filming. We've discussed this a lot on this channel where you get you, you could even schedule one day every two weeks and film six, seven, eight videos in one day, but then you know you've got eight weeks. <coughs> oh my God, I am actually dying. I shouldn't say that, sorry. Anyway, I, I'm just so ill, I need to go to sleep. Oh my God, I do actually look so ill. Yeah, so that's tip number one is plan in advance. Always be ahead of yourself. My aim is to be at least four weeks ahead of myself. So hopefully, well actually not hopefully, I will be scheduled um, in advance of my YouTube channel this year, okay? That is one of my goals. Number two is do a voiceover. If you're like <laughs> looking how I am and you really don't wanna come in front of the camera, you can do a voiceover. Some of my videos have been like how to do a YouTube end card. I'll, I'll link that video up there. And it's, you don't see my face, but you just hear my voice. So if you don't wanna put your makeup on, you really don't want people to see you, and I get it. You, a lot of people, we don't feel confident when we're not wearing our best dress, when we haven't got our makeup. Come on, like I don't feel that amazingly confident right now when I know you can see my hair frizzing and, <laughs> and all of that cool stuff, but, for me, I know my kind of higher goal and my higher purpose and why. And for me personally, like you might judge me, I don't know. But personally, I would rather give you the content with me looking like this or with me having no makeup on one whatsoever. I'd rather me give you the content than you not have the content. Is this going anywhere? You know what I'm talking about. I'm still ill, please forgive me. Um, so that is my tip number two, is do a voiceover. Now I know <laughs> you might have been like me over the last two weeks, I have just been coughing up that green disgusting junk in your throat, um, sneezing, all that kind of stuff. So if you can't do a voiceover, um, maybe you could even like turn things on its head a bit and get your mum or your dad to do a voiceover or your friend. Um, that would make it really cool, I think, and just make your content different on your channel. Again, you don't have to do this, it's just an idea. But uh, number two is do voiceovers for your videos. Oh God, I feel so Ill. And idea number three is, and I really love this one, so please take it for yourself, is you know all those videos that you spent hours and hours of filming, editing, <laughs> uploading, um, all those hours you've spent, don't waste your old YouTube content. Why don't you go back on some previous videos and get the best clips out and make a new video from that? I'm all about reusing old content because it's not old, it's still relevant, okay? So why don't you look at your channel and see what clips can you get to make a new video? Again, a card will pop up right now. Go and watch that video. And that is clips from loads of previous videos that I've put together to actually make my channel trade for YouTube. I really hope this video is making sense. I feel like my eyes are about to close, like like I need to go to sleep. I think my cough's gonna come back, so I'm actually gonna go and stop talking now because I'm clearly making myself more ill. Before you go, how could I forget a massive... Yeah! 
Congratulations to Nikki M, aka Halt Bubbles, I think I've said your name right, for winning the YT Club tripod. If you um, remember, a few weeks ago I did a giveaway of the YT Club tripod for hitting 2,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Nikki, one of these tripods is winging its way to you in the post. Yeah, if you want to find out more about these, I will leave a video below. But yeah, if you want to get one of these, you want to be more confident with making your YouTube videos, that is how I actually made this YouTube video today in my YT Club tripod. But thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you did find it beneficial in some way, please click there to subscribe, or will it be over there? It'll be somewhere on the other two sides. Um, please do click to subscribe and go and watch these previous videos that are coming up next as well. And remember, take action today, not tomorrow.